Hey guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs, and today we are working on part two of the Extreme Treasure Hunter achievement, which is to get the rope bound chest, rope bound treasure chest, whatever you want to call it. Um, and yeah, just the second one on there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head up the ramp and follow the path most of the way to the uh, yeah most of the way to the. Um, edge of the bridge where it kind of drops off and you fall to your doom if you're not paying attention um, But when I originally recorded this I didn't open up the map So I'm gonna keep this part in and show you how to get there. So you're gonna follow the path all the way around the bend and You're gonna stop before you get to the first bridge um, Once you get on the mainland not including the f big long one at the beginning um, So you can see up there um, there's past the two big trees and you can see up there where the fire was just, that's the first bridge. So we're not going to go, we're stopping here where this pillar is. We're not going to go up to the first bridge. Um, well, don't fall off like I almost did. So what you're going to do is you're going to dismount. Because you need to do this on foot. And you're going to go and you want to make sure you're walking. You're going to toggle on your walks. So you can see mine is set to comma. Um, I think that's the default, but my fiancé said that his was defaulted to slash. So pick whatever works for you. But you want to make sure you're on walk, not run. Otherwise, um, it won't exactly work and I'll explain why in a second so you're gonna walk and you're gonna keep walking on the rope I recommend using um, your mouse to steer just because you get a little bit more accuracy than trying to do it with um, WASD and you're gonna wait until you're gonna tilt your camera down so you're looking directly on top of your character so you can see where you're uh, when you're right over top of the next rope because it's a uh, kind of a dip this one's a little bit more difficult than the other one it took me a couple tries the first time I did it just going to inch off, land on the rope, and then just keep walking. Now the reason I have you um, walking instead of running is because if you do this while running and you jump, um, the momentum from the running actually propels you forward, and it can really knock you off course if you're just a little bit off. If you're doing this while walking, you just drop. There's no like propelling whatsoever. <clears throat> and we have a lovely Pandaren hunter here who was very nice and didn't attack me while I did this, thank god. Um, so yeah, just keep strolling along. And it was important to me that I, this is gonna kind of be a little bit, feel a little bit slow, but it was important to me that I showed you guys exactly how to do it. So, line yourself up directly on top, and then just really, really slowly inch your way on. Yep, just like that. And then you can book it to the other pillar, you can see the chest sparkling. And inside, as per usual, there's some lesser charms and some timeless coins. I don't know if you have, if anything has a chance, anything else has a chance to drop you. Armor pieces or burdens of eternities might. Burdens of eternities are pretty rare though, so I wouldn't count on doing this to get them. Um, so yeah, just get over top and just kind of inch your way down. And then you click on it and you've got it. And that's it for this one, guys. I uh, hope you found that helpful. And yeah, you can do, I should mention, you can do this once a week. Um, so every week you can go and get all three. But yeah, hope you found that helpful. Like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.